this is today's look it is a smoky green and warm goodness orange brown traditional smoky with a little bit of a reverse underline or waterline smoke out uh, if I had to name this it would definitely be slime chick or alien Instagram baddie <laughs> Um, I think these colors really, really play nicely together. Green and black. A little bit of purple on the cheeks. A little bit of green in the lips. A little green gold on the lid. And some orange smoke out, which I love. All right, guys, so let's just jump into this look. Okay, so I'm going in and I'm starting with two of my favorite primers, NYX Pore Filler and Angel Veil. And they both just give really, really great bases. My face is already moisturized with an oil-free moisturizer. An NYX kind of day. I'm going in with an NYX um, brush and I'm just gonna blend that in. You can tell without even putting on any product that those primers really help create a nice a smooth base. Yes. I will be using Fashion Fair foundation today and the color I'll be using is Java and I will have American and UK links in the bottom bar so you can check that out. It's a little dry. Okay, there we go. Super pigmented. This and their stick foundations are awesome. The stick foundations in particular because they were cream to powder. I will also have those linked in the bottom bar so you can check them out. Look how pigmented that is. Oh, I love their foundations. Now I'm going to go in with a dry beauty blender, bounce that all over for extra blending and to remove any excess product. That's flawless. Found it. Ugh. Fashion Fair. Yes. I'm going to be doing, I'm going to do an updated review. I did one years ago. And I've used it a few times, but I haven't done like an official updated review because that is that's flawless. This foundation is so good. I wanted to pull up extra close so you guys can see that. So now I'm going in with some black opal, and this is truly topaz, and I'm taking that all in my under eye area and I'm using it as a concealer slash highlight. It's very pigmented, color correcting is barely needed at this stage with these products. So I'm just going in straight to highlighting and concealing. This is lightweight an updated foundation routine because I'm using a lot of my newer techniques, not even if they're new to me, but I haven't employed them in my personal foundation and I am loving it. Loving, loving. Okay, so now I'm going to go contour, and we all know how much I love Fashion Fair Stick Foundation in Teak. I absolutely love it. It's right here. It's Bay. It's definitely a staple, but I have something that I've had for a really long time that I've never used. It's from, well, I've used it before, but I don't think I've used it on camera. This is Look 8. This is from Napoleon Paradis, and I really love his dark warm approach to this tone like it's unique from any of the darker tones that I've tried 
I would say it's probably most reminiscent of a Lancome color because it's like deep dark, almost dark olive. And it's such a beautiful tone. I wanted to use it today to give myself the cheekbones of life. So take some, put it on the booty of the sponge and just bring that all up around my hairline. I have some hair on the sponge. You can do this as well if you feel like you have good control of the product. I love that tone. I'm gonna go over it with a little bit of a cooler powder, but I really just wanted to get that out there. contour I made my line now I'm just pulling down a tiny bit on the bottom of my nose I see everybody going in and doing this and if you're anything like me you probably already have a short nose and that's kind of what that does so be careful um, what makeup tips you adapt make sure that it's benefiting your face and it's not just something that you start doing because your favorite person is doing. And that's not shade. Like sometimes some of my tips won't work for your face. So I'm gonna make sure to let you know a lot more often why I'm doing things. There you go. Beat nose gang. So I'm gonna use two powders only because I just feel like being extra because you know, I just, you know, I feel like being extra. I'm gonna go in with this warm powder from Bobbi Brown. It's in Chestnut, and this is their powder foundation. And I'm sweeping the warmth in. And around my cheeks, and behind my jawline a tiny bit. I'm gonna go back with a little bit more cool, but I'm going to get that in there and blend that out. Come in around my forehead. Come down. Come in here. Now I'm cutting this a little bit short because I honestly have a bigger jaw and I haven't been highlighting like here as much as I usually would because I just feel like face looks so much better without it. Now I'm going in, you know what, I never use the other end of the brush. Let me see how this goes, let's see, getting it everywhere. I'm going in and I'm baking. And I'm not gonna let my bake bake too long because I don't want it to be too strong. So I'm also just gonna go ahead and move this product, this powder around. I think I like this end better. And this powder is just a combination of some of my favorite powders. going to go in and slightly redefine. Just slightly. I'm just going to go in and do my brows really quick. I've been loving this Anastasia um, waterproof brow stuff. This brow genius. I've been loving it. It's really good to keep your brows in place. Through. My brows have been like flawlessly, um, what do you call it, threaded. 
so there's no need to really um i mean i have to fill them in obviously because they're a little sparse but i don't have to go nearly as hard as i did uh when i was growing them out so that's always fun and i'm just going in with a little bit of la girl um gel liner and dark brown i think and yeah. Going in and perfecting the shape and giving it a little length. I'm just going in and just doing like a few strokes. I'm not going to go hard on my brows. I'm over it. My brows are naturally uneven, as you can see. I'm over trying to fix that too. Other day, my brows look insane. And I was like, you know what? a tiny bit of black I like a little black in my brow I don't care who says what okay so I already have um, product and powder on my brow that's gonna act as a base for my crease and I'm just going in with an LA girl palette and this is their neons palette and I'm going in with that orange Just blending it kind of in the shape of my brows. I'm gonna go here and then come down. Make sure the edges stay soft. And I'm gonna migrate it into uh, the bottom a little bit later. I'm just gonna keep building and keep blending until I get the desired uh, payoff. Now I'm just going in with any random brown. Well, I'm not going in with any random brown, but any random brown will do. This is a warm brown. I'm placing it low in my crease. I'm gonna blend it up. Placing it low in my crease and shaping that outer V. My eyes are slightly hooded, so I kind of have to come up and create more of a crease. I'm gonna come up here. Now I'm gonna come in with this brush, has a tiny bit of product, and I'm just fusing these two together. Just keep blending. 2,000 years late. <laughs> gotta keep blending. You just gotta do circular motions in wind wipers just to get everything blended. Now I'm gonna go back in with a tiny bit of brown very tiny bit because I'm using the fluffy brush and I'm putting it low in my crease and as the product wears off I'm turning my brush upward and blending and I just really want it to be smoked all the way out this right here is a black eyeshadow base from NYX and I'm going in on a detailed brush and I'm placing it all over my lip. Now I'm going in with a nice black eyeshadow and I'm setting that over the black um, powder from NYX. Question point is I've mixed a little black and brown together. And now I'm just going through on the edge because I kind of want it to go from that black fade out to that like kind of dark warm brown into the orange. I'm gonna go back through with some more black eyeshadow. I want it to be intense. Three twenty eight. 
8 a.m. Okay, as you can see, I've done <clears throat> both eyes. And now I'm just going in and fine tuning. And, um,. The blackest eyeshadow ever. I love this. This is Wet n Wild Panther. This is a L'Oreal Infallible Liner in Resilient Green. I'm going in and I'm blending this out with a Dirty Martini from Makeup Geek. I'll show you the color in a minute really pretty kind of like a bright olive I used to be really afraid to wear color blended out <laughs> under my eye a lot but you know when you use the right tools and the right products you know, and with practice, it becomes less scary. And it's actually, I just love it now. And I even get pretty low. But, um, <laughs> this is the color right here. It's super pretty. But right now, I'm going in with some neon green from the LA Girl palette. And then just fluffing that along the bottom. I'm gonna blend it out. This is L'Oreal Golden Emerald. And I'm adding just a tiny bit of interest here. I'm using it on a wet brush. Just a tiny bit. I like that. I had to do Dirty Plum for the blush. I just had to. It is my favorite fall purple blush. The highlight I'm using is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's Riviera. And I thought it would look really good with the purple. I'm gonna go in and set that. And that glow is gonna really start popping. Now we're gonna move on to the lips. If you get nervous about water sitting on top of your makeup, so just go in with your beauty blender. Pounce it, and then everything just comes to life. For my lips, I'm going to go in with the same um, base that I used for my eyes.
that's in the description below. And I'll see you soon. I thought adding a little more green would be fun. Or maybe giving myself the porn star lip. <laughs> okay, so I put um, some contacts on and I cried 15 buckets of tears. And my makeup was pretty unbothered, so. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not mad at that. But this is the face. I really like it. I've had this in my mind for a while. It's really simple. It's not an OD. Just cute and a little different. I like the green highlight and stuff like that. If you haven't seen my latest video, the video that I did yesterday or the day before yesterday, depending on when I post this, you definitely have to go check it out. I thought I had lipstick on my teeth, but yeah. All right, guys, so as always, I want to thank you so much for commenting, rating, and subscribing. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you get videos when I make them and turn your notifications on because YouTube be hating. All right, guys, as always, I want to thank you so much for commenting, rating, and subscribing. I'll be in touch and hopefully you'll do the same. Bye, guys.